Mets manager Joe Torre on the Sunday Sports Special. What do you do with a chubby dog? The star of the new TV series, Best of the West, Leonard Fry. And are we exporting dangerous drugs to other countries? All on the next Good Tomorrow morning, morning at 9.30... Health System Knowledge brings you a way to save energy by using your building's existing telephone lines. Save up to 20% of the cost of heating, cooling, lighting, while improving your communications capabilities. Energy and communications managed by a single system. From Bell. Well, you may not hear this story everywhere, but in Johannesburg, South Africa, Norman Moses and Sophie Jacobs have been trying to get married all week. The trouble is, Norman's mother didn't approve. Twice, she has locked Norman in a bathroom, hit his suit and his wedding ring. Twice, poor Sophie has been left waiting at the altar. Then Mrs. Moses told the local minister that Norman would get married only over her dead body. The marriage has been indefinitely postponed. Gil? All right, let's see what's happening in the world of sports. Here's Mike Barry. Was that a real story? I guess it was. <laughs> Sophie and Norman feel it was real. <laughs> All right. The Sunday afternoon massacre at Shea Stadium, not a laughing matter. Mets manager Joe Torre and his coaching staff fired on this, the final day of the regular baseball season. The decision was that of Mets general manager Frank Cashin. Frank uh, Torre said it did not come as a surprise. We're trying to try and rebuild this franchise into a winner. Uh, I am dedicated to doing whatever I have to do to get that done. And with that, general manager Frank Frank Cashin gave Joe Torre his walking papers after four and a half years at the Mets' helm. It hurts, Mike. You know, if you have any pride, it hurts your pride. You know, you, you, you fail to do a job, which is what, you know, you're being told. But uh, you have to bounce back because, uh, you know, as a player, I didn't get 4 for 4 every day. I went 0 for 4, and you have to pick yourself up, and that's basically what it amounts to. Here in the Mets' locker room after the ball game, the reaction of the Sunday afternoon massacre, one of shock. Anytime uh, you have a manager fight, it's not a happy day. Uh, it was a surprise to all of us. Uh, you know, there was no air about it at all. And... Uh, when I got to the ballpark, we just found out that all the coaches, so they wiped the slate pretty clean, and uh, it was a surprise to us. The Mets came close to winning the second half title in this strange season, but the decision to change managers was made far before the Mets' drive fizzled. I, I felt it coming, and uh, you know when you take this job, it's going to happen eventually, and it's just one of those things. Uh, I'll be working somewhere, and I'm just uh, sorry now that the ball club has gotten to a point now where I, I think it's got a chance to win, and, you know, I won't be a part of it. But, hey, that's baseball, and, and I knew it going in, and, and the man came out and told me straight on, and, and I try to make it as easy as possible on Frank because it's not easy to, to chop heads. You know, I have had to do it with players and, and with coaches, so uh, it's one of those things. Looking back over your four and a half years, Joe, the good times, the bad times, what do you remember? Oh, the good times. I don't think things could have been better than this year. You know, when you know we didn't get eliminated till October 2nd, and uh, a lot of people didn't think we were that good. And I just felt in the short season that we had a chance to steal something. And we, you know, we didn't have uh, good years out of people we expected good years from, but uh, we had good years out of guys we didn't expect good years from. That's the way baseball is. Joe, you've got a year left on your contract. You're okay financially, you say, but your coaches, they're out on their ear. Well, I don't know. You know, I just, uh, as I said, I tried to find out for them because they're, they're right uh, right now, as of today, they're out of work and, and not getting paid anymore. So uh, they're going to have to scout around and, and look for a place to go. I can't have them depend on me because if I don't get a job next year, then they're, they're out of luck. So uh, they get an offer. I hope they take it. At least one of those coaches has been around a long time. Rube Walker has been the Mets pitching coach the last 14 years. He always hated them, but you know he's going to sooner or later. So uh, i got no regrets. I enjoyed the 14 years and uh, looking forward to getting another job and go somewhere else. I think it was a good move because I felt that Joe Torrey was not good enough a manager in a way that he used the talent that was available to him. I thought it was a wrong move to make at the end of the season. You don't do something like that the last day of the season. You have to wait and, and see what happens over the winter and what players you can get because I don't think they gave him still enough to manage with. I say we need Billy Martin. We need a wild man. We need Billy Martin to come and help coach the Mets. 